Hello and welcome to this tutorial on forming a research question. During this video, we will discuss how forming a research question can help to guide your research and save you time. This tutorial will help you to create a clear, focused research question. The first thing to do is pick a topic. Sometimes your professor may give you a topic, others may give you a set of guidelines to follow when choosing your own topic. When picking your own topic, it is important to consider your interest. Is there something about a particular subject that you'd like to learn more about? Choosing a topic that interests you, or that you have some kind of personal investment in, can make the search process easier, even fun. No one wants to write a paper about a topic they consider boring. Now that you have your topic, what do you do? It's time to find some background information on it. If the topic is new to you, this is essential to give you a basic understanding of it before you start more in-depth research. All of that sounds great, but how do you gather background information on a topic? Where do you look? Well, you can Google it. Yes, you heard that right. Google or other search engines can be a useful tool for gathering basic information. Just be aware of the source you're looking at. You have to consider the quality of the information on the internet carefully. Who wrote it? Why should you believe them? What is the purpose of the article, blog, or website? And do they support their information or use sources to back it up in any way? Reference sources can be more reliable and often less time-consuming than the internet. The library has a collection of reference books on numerous topics. Just ask a library staff member about them. Online encyclopedias also hold a wealth of general knowledge with sites like Britannica, World Book, and even Encyclopedia.com. This, however, does not include Wikipedia, as it is often unreliable. The library also has several databases with reference sources, such as Gale Virtual Reference, that you can access through our website. Now that you have a solid grasp of your topic, you'll need to do some thinking. Before you even start your computer, type a word into Google, or run to the library's databases to start your research, ask yourself some questions that start with how and why. Think about how you're going to support your topic. Why does your topic or argument matter to you? Why should it matter to your reader? It shouldn't just be because it's for a grade. Consider the so what of your paper. Imagine that you tell someone your topic and they say so what? How would you respond? Choose one or two answers that appeal to you and form a question. Now that you have asked yourself some questions of how and why, it's time to form your research question. A good research question should not have a simple yes or no answer. Rather, it should be specific enough for the assignment as well as require some research and analysis. If you're making an argument or trying to prove a point, how could your stance be challenged? What are the opposing viewpoints, if any? Why is what you're saying so important? What kind of sources will you need to support your argument or answer your research question? Remember, a research question should be clear, focused, and balanced in its complexity. When forming your question, make sure that it is clearly stated. Avoid broad questions that you don't have time to fully answer, and avoid vague questions that give you an overwhelming amount of information to cover. You need to be specific. Let's say your topic is sports injuries, and you're interested in learning how to prevent them. But that's a very broad topic. By narrowing your topic to a specific injury, sport, or prevention method, you can make your research question clear and direct. A clear research question will help guide you as you do your research and save you a lot of time and frustration. A focused question provides boundaries to your research so that you're not sifting through an overload of information. Keeping with the topic of sports injuries, let's say you want to learn about how effective concussion protocols are, but that's not a focused research question. For one, how do you define effective? And in what sport? What level of the sport? High school? college, professional. By focusing on a particular area of your topic, you can create a clear, focused question. Now for the balancing act. Creating a research question that is balanced, not too simple or complex, can be tricky, but it's not impossible. Think about the scope of your question. Is it too broad to cover your assignment? If so, you might want to work on narrowing your question to focus on a certain subject area within your topic. Be aware though, if you make your question too complex, it may be difficult for the reader, even you, to follow and understand what you are explaining or arguing. 
Also, if your question is too specific, you may have difficulty finding information on it. As an example, a simple yet complex question could be, how are concussions prevented in sports? Notice how broad this question is. What sport are you going to talk about? What kind of prevention method? What if you compared how they are prevented in college versus professional football? Then, what if you looked at the reduction rates over the past 10 seasons? Maybe you could also try to draw a correlation with how effective the prevention protocols are. That is a lot of questions to consider. So let's find a balance. Let's take the idea of just professional football and looking at how concussions have been reduced per season. So, a more balanced question could be, what protocols are in place to prevent concussions in professional football and how effective have they been in reducing the rate of concussions per season? C. Balanced. Forming a research question can be a daunting task, but if you put some thought into it, you can form a question that is clear, focused, and balanced, saving you time by guiding your research. If you get stuck, remember that you can always ask your professor or a librarian for help. Librarians are available to meet in person by phone at 423-636-7320, by email at library at tuscum.edu, or even through our live chat service on our website. So don't hesitate to ask. To access the library's databases or our books and ebooks, you can visit our website, garland.tuscum.edu. So now that you have your research question, go research it. We thank you for watching this tutorial, wish you good luck, and happy researching.